this is HG Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XV Episode Prompto. Today, I want to go through Episode Prompto again. Since I've already completed it, we unlock some new content, like the attire that we picked up and Prompto's trigger happy tech. But for this video, I want to show how to collect all of the new photos available in the archive highlights that you can only do upon a repeat playthrough. Now, I want to minimize the amount of jumping around through episode prompto so you know where the photos are in relation to everything else. However, even with removing uh, skippable cutscenes, it's still going to take more than five minutes to get through some of the repeat content. So, in that case, I'll just edit that out. Uh, the exception will be certain photos that require combat. So, I will be showing fighting on screen for those photos. Alright, let's uh, get a new game running here. And, well, I can't skip the part where Pronto's walking taking forever to die in the snow. So in that case, I'll just skip to when we gain control of Prompto in the production facility. Okay, we made it here. And I'm just going to be skipping like the data log entries or any treasures that are way out of the way. We got to get moving here. Okay, so the first photo for us to collect is by, well, the first save point that's available. Let's get over here to the vending machine, and then right in the corner there, there, we can take our first photo. Unfortunately, there's no real way to know where these photos are in-game, other than you accidentally walk in the spot where you can take a highlight photo for some reason, or you just look it up online. I mean, that's why you're here, isn't it? So yeah, we got the archives section here. I'm not gonna worry about like photos or documents, just the highlights ones that are new to uh, episode prompto after completing it. What are you doing there? Is he like, Trying to crush the cans or something? I mean, I don't know. Maybe they do recycling in Gralia. Okay, well, that's the first of ten photos that we can get. And unfortunately, the next photo isn't until the very end of the production facility, like 15, 20 minutes from now. So, yeah, I'm just going to skip over there to the final save point around here. I think that's the fourth one by the time we get there. And I'll meet you guys over there. Watch this! How did I make that guy vulnerable? I mean, he was way over there. Okay, we're back at the final save point here. In the production facility, anyway. For chapter one. Yeah, I can't skip this part. Nor the gods themselves will be able to challenge my reign. Well, the bullet in this gun sounds otherwise, pal. But, uh, okay. Now, this photo is really tricky because you gotta do it while you're trying to escape from this place. Seems like a strange time to let you take a photo, but okay. Then again, I did that hundreds of times in the main game. Okay, this one is way over here. Hey, it's Kenny Crow! Uh, let me see, yeah. Game? Can I... Hmm. 
Okay, let's uh, do it this way then. There we go. Maybe I, I don't think I need to clear these guys out of here for that. I should have seen like a marker or something saying, hey, press X to do a photo here or something. But, uh, ah, there we go. Okay, uh, yeah, please take the photo here with Kenny Pro in the middle of a military base on high alert. I mean, it is Kenny Crow. Maybe that's where he came from. But, uh, okay, we're done with that one. Let's get out of here. If I can. Would be nice if I could actually move past these guys. There we go. Down. Now's your chance. Okay, I would like to have some more Lumen Flares, because I will be doing some amount of fighting. And then just get out of here. I think the enemies would just respawn infinitely or something and uh, okay so the next photo is also a little tricky because you need to do that while you're making your escape from here on the snowmobile so let's see this one is at the really big jump that you have after a ramp down here so, you, you'll know it when you see it. Getting the photo is a different story, because sometimes you'll have mechs or a dropship firing missiles at you. Like that, and if they hit you, you will get knocked off of your snowmobile, and you'll have to try again. Okay, so not here. It's a about halfway down, I think. Let's just stay in the middle of these things. Okay, there it is. There's the ramp. Slow down. Um, I think I missed it. Uh, that's not exactly what I wanted to do. Hopefully I can get on and still take the photo. Okay. Back up a little bit. The reason I wanted to back up is because of that. I don't want to get hit right in the middle of that thing, of that slope, or the ramp, or whatever it is. Okay, so let's go real slow, or not. Yeah, that's the problem with this one. Let's try again, just a little more. Uh, can I, no, I can't move. Okay, come on. They'll run out of missiles sooner or later. There we go. Whew! Got it. Okay, let's get out of here. Or we could not get out of here yet. Okay, let's take the fit. Take a look at the photo here. So, yeah, I don't know if they expect you to be able to get that button press right on the slope there while you're going full speed um what's my hp is that my maximum or hmm let me see if a uh, potion will help i oh no that is my maximum now so i've lost maximum hp in the whole process so if i can ever get this thing moving and i'm gonna need it that would be nuts okay fine we'll use an elixir Maybe I should wait for them to shoot missiles before I get on. Okay, where are you? Okay, I don't see where they are firing from. Come on, let's get a little more. Or not. Come on, I've got to be able to move this thing. Okay, there we go. Not exactly optimal, but it will do. I can move. Okay. Finally! That's why you don't want to take the left path coming up here, because there's going to be a whole bunch of mechs over there. Actually, you know what? Let's show that, since I haven't done that before. But, uh, yeah, these things can knock you right off like that. Uh-oh. 
Well, so much for my elixir. Yeah, unfortunately, when you're in the danger status, you gotta rescue yourself. So if I can actually get up on the snowmobile, that would be nice. Okay, get up! Okay, we made it. Whoops, um, yeah, get out. Get out of the way of that guy. Whoa, there's a lot of those mechs on this path. Okay. I think we're in the clear. Or at least until the end of this segment, anyway. What? How did you hit me like that? Uh. Oh, it's like, where did my snowmobile go? But, I mean, that hit me, like, dead on. I mean, that was, like, precision act. Or, yeah, precision accuracy. Okay, then we get hit by the story one more time. There we go. But, we're in the clear. Oh, and by the way, those first two photos in the archive highlights that are in the production facility, you can't go back to get them now. So they're permanently missable, but I mean, come on, it's a couple hour game. It's not like you're really missing that much. But in any case, alright, so the next photo is pretty close to the... Whoa! Come on, give me a break! I just wanted to get some, uh, what are they? Lumen flares! Can I get a rifle while I'm at it? There we go! Okay, now let's get out of here and head on over to the rendezvous point. So yeah, the next photo is by the lake, but you have to be alone with Prompto in order to... Oh, uh, no, not there. I want to go further north. But yeah, you can't have Aranea in your party in order to get this one, or at least so I've heard. And I don't want to test that theory. Uh, if I could actually get through these tiny bushes with my snowmobile, that would be nice. There you go. Okay, so somewhere over there is the photo spot. I forget precisely where it is, but it's somewhere around here. Let's see, maybe further up? I thought it was, like, relatively close to the... Ah, there it is. Yeah, to the save point, not, like, the King Behemoth fight there. But, uh, okay, so, we got another photo there. What do we got? Yeah, unfortunately, they don't really put them in chronological order. They just kind of put them all over the place. Oh, why are you ice fishing? I mean, ignore the fact that he's not the fishing expert, but the lake isn't frozen over. I mean, it's clear water there. I don't know. Maybe there's a part of the lake that froze over, but not this part. I don't know. But, uh, okay, that's uh, all we can do here. The next photos will... I'm going to get those with Aranea. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to skip to when I when we recruit Aranea into our party and get back here to the, to the haven. Actually, you know what? Let me show you what happens if you choose to try and burn the barcode off of your wrist. Well, that's one way of doing it. Maybe you should try shooting it. Brother. 
branded for life. Hmm. Don't tell me you thought that would work. Why not? Uh, uh. Hey, how's it going? Prompto, right? Ah, there you go. So, yeah, that's what happens there, but, uh, okay, let's get to when we actually recruit her and get back to the Haven. You could at least look happy to see me. Yeah, even if you know where to go with Prina, yeah, you still have to wait for them to get here in order to interact with the corpse. Okay, we're back. And let's see, once you get back to the Haven with Aranea, uh, where is it? There you go. Yeah, you can take a photo of the two of you here. Oh, very nice. Okay, so we got that one. Let's see. Now, there's going to be a photograph that you can only take after defeating the Kaiser Behemoth. So, yeah, we're going to have to wait around till 3 o'clock for that one. So, until then, I want to go collect a couple other photos while we're at it. See, this one is pretty close to the guard tower, to the other or to the annex facility. Let's see, okay, it's along the. Well, I don't know if you'd call it a dirt path, but there it is. Oh no, let's. Uh, or we could get off. That works too. Let's see. Do I have to be on the snowmobile? I mean, the other one I could understand because you're, like, trying to jump a slope with the snowmobile. But, like, this one, I don't think should require... Oh. Well, I guess you are both on the snowmobile. Except for some reason, uh, RNA is doing the driving and not prompto, even though it looks that way here. Well, in any case, okay, yeah, let's get over to the lake far to the south of the Haven. There's another picture that we can pick up while we're there. And let's see, the two photos here are pretty tricky to figure out the exact right position you need to be in in order to have the game allow you to take the picture both of these are really really fickle okay so this one see I thought it was somewhere like southwest of the the weapon shack there whatever we had going on oh uh yeah there it is Okay, so let's see, you might have noticed those uh, gar gorillas over there, and, well, we got a friendly one, my furry friend. Aww. Okay, so it's going to take a while for the Kaiser Behemoth to spawn here, so I'll probably murder those gorillas there, and then I'll meet you back here when the... Kaiser Behemoth spawns at thir or well, 1500 hours, 3 p.m. Prompto stopped twerking for boss time against the Kaiser Behemoth. Okay, uh, Arnea, if you could Take this. attack the monster and tank for me, that would be nice. How am I getting two hits there? It looked like I got two hits from 
one shot. Okay, Arnea, come on. Get out of there. Thank you. Thank you for taking forever to, yeah, get up and attack the guy. Oh, you know, I probably should have, let me see here. Yeah, I could have changed my attire to have more ice resistance, but whatever. Oh, we can access Aranea? Oh, huh. Well, there you are. I didn't know she had that. But otherwise, I don't know if I'd call that a bullet art, but whatever works for you. Never heard of that spear before. But, uh, okay, yeah. Let's uh, take this guy down. I want to show the boss fight, even though I've already done it, and I don't really have anything new to add to it. But... You do need to kill the guy in order to get this photo. There you are. I'm getting a little too close for comfort there. Unfortunately, I don't have any more elixirs. Because I haven't been doing any of the side quests around here. So... Yeah, I'll just have to be a little careful, that's all. I mean, that guy can, you know, shoot ice at me. So I'm not, like, completely invulnerable here. But otherwise, when necessary, switch between the... Uh, what is that? The rifle and the... What was that? The bazooka there. Have a nice flight. Whenever you get a chance, use high wind to. That'll always make the beam vulnerable. It's over. Nice. Usually I can get in like three or four shots per cycle there. Or crack shots, that is. Maybe I can break its legs. I mean, you can. I don't know if that'll actually do anything. <laughs> I'm surprised that actually hit the guy. I was like, oh man, I fired way too far to the left on that one. I really hope that was Aranea attacking or er, healing herself, not the behemoth. But then again, it wouldn't be the first time uh, behemoth restored its own HP by absorbing its own ice damage. Yeah, that was a lot farther away than I thought it was. Wow, the dreaded two hits per cycle. Well, let's try that one again. Oh yeah, I also have Trigger Happy. I wonder if that would actually be better than High Wind as far as damage per tech bar. I don't know. I suppose I could Let's give it a try. See how effective that would be. Probably not very. But uh, if I could shoot the guy in the head a few times, that would be nice. Whoa. This guy's moving around a little too much to get in several hits. Haha! -ha, there we go. I think we broke their... Uh, strength a little bit there Okay, let me get in a bit closer so I can hit the guy at point-blank range mm. No, oh that made him vulnerable. I was about to say no that damage doesn't really compare because of the crack shots, but I didn't realize that uh, Trigger happy would make the guy vulnerable. Hmm. So it really is just straight up a comparison between the base damage of Trigger Happy and High Wind. Not so much the damage from the crack shots, which I thought would be a determining factor. Okay, well we already broke the head, so let's break the legs now. There we go, got one. That'll break their vitality a little bit, I think. Take this. Well, we'll just do the best we can. 
But uh, let me see. I think High Wind alone would still deal a lot more damage than Trigger Happy would. And if this guy would stop running away from me, that would be nice. So that way I can actually hit the guy with my gun. Uh, are they both in the air? There you go. Hmm, I guess Trigger Happy would deal more damage. Not half bad. The only thing is that... Oh, well, yeah, there's that. But uh, Trigger Happy costs more. And it takes a little while to... Uh, what is make the Kaiser Behemoth vulnerable? Where it, because High Wind just immediately makes the guy vulnerable, unlike Trigger Happy. Although this one does have a bit of a lengthy animation to it as well. In any case, yeah, let's just keep on going with that. Okay, almost got the guy. Uh, you, you can deal the finishing blow if you want, Arnea, but I will see what I can do to help. Uh, I meant to do that. I was aiming for the head. Ha-ha! Okay, now this photo is a real bastard to try and find. It's... I think straight south of the wooden shack there. And it's right next to like a little grassy patch. Not that there's much to choose from, but it only shows up after defeating the... Oh, that was easy. After defeating the Kaiser Behemoth. <laughs> That took me so long to find the first time when I was practicing. But, uh, yeah, it's straight south of the, the little wooden check we got there. Hooray! Okay, in any case, I have lost a lot of my max HP. And I don't have any more elixirs. Well, I might now. I, I don't know if I... Did I even get any? from completing that side quest. I just thought about that from defeating the King Behemoth there. Oh, yeah, let me uh, show you the picture there. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, that one's real tricky. And the next one is gonna be pretty tricky too because in order to make it happen, I need to perform a link strike with Aranea and I don't know of a way of making that happen on purpose. So I'll just have to do the best I can. But yeah, I do want to rest up here. And I'll just meet you at the Ebony Machine save point just outside of the Annex facility. Okay, we're back just outside the Annex facility to the, well, to the east. Of the haven there. So According for the, the next model, photo, it's, it's rather tricky to, to get because, as far as I can tell, it's pretty much random if you can get it at all. In order to do so, you need to perform a link strike between Prompto and Aranea in the next room with all the enemies. And the problem is that in episode Prompto, Link Strikes are not announced like they are in the main game, or even episode Gladiolus. You don't have Link Strike pop up on the screen there. No, no, it's more subtle than that. You basically see Prompto and Aranea attacking an enemy together, and there's like a sudden camera change you'll see when it happens, but... In order to make that happen, you have to use a weapon that can target lock an enemy, which would be the handgun or the Autox Blade. 
and you need to be in close proximity to Aranea in order to be able to perform a Link Strike. Let's see, to my knowledge, I think there's three potential Link Strikes for the handgun and one for the Audix Blade. Though, I don't know that that makes it more likely to happen, it's just that it can in the first place. But, I do like using explosives in my face. No, no. I do like using the handgun anyway, because it takes longer to make an enemy vulnerable. Is she attacking the mech? I hope not. Uh, Arnea? Where are you? Okay, she is attacking the mech now. Great. Well, in any case, so there's not really a whole lot that I can do to make this happen or not. At least as far as I can tell. I'm just gonna... Yeah, just hit the guy. Or kill the guy now. Get it over and done with. So they don't have to worry about Arnea attacking them later. So whenever you do get the Link Strike, if you get it at all, you have to come up to the catwalk here and you'll get a little prompt for taking a photo there. So that's pretty much the only way you can know that you've gotten the Link Strike. I, I do kind of wonder though if this room messes with Aranea's movement AI because it seems like she's trying to fly all over the place but the game's not letting her. There's no enemies out there, Aranea. There you go. Uh, oh, okay, we did kill that guy. Well, whenever I do get a link strike, we'll probably know just by the animation, really. Those things are everywhere. Oh. Um, well, yeah, you would know, I suppose. Uh, let's take out... Okay, I was gonna go for the defense node first, but we can go for the attack node, too. I don't know if it's even possible to, uh, link strike one of the nodes. I mean, they don't have like a back to them or anything like you can't blindside them or anything at least I'm shooting all around them and they're not going anywhere hmm you know I wonder if leaving the defense nodes active would increase the likelihood if I could get a link strike because with the defense node they would essentially have unlimited healing But I would imagine that sooner or later they would either run out of MP or something, or maybe, uh, what is it? It would take too long to make them explode to be worthwhile to try and just wait for the defense node to hit them the link strike. Uh, Arnea? The enemies are down here. Let's uh, go after the attack node first. Uh, okay, or... That might have been a Link Strike. I think that's one of the Link Strike animations there. When she kind of slid under Prompto there to attack the enemy. Let me check that. Let's see... No, I guess not. That was just her... Oh! Uh, I saw it. Yeah, there it is. Woo! -hoo! I this is my fourth attempt to get a link strike to happen there. But uh, all oh, right, finally got it. So let's see. Yeah, there you go. Wouldn't she slid under him like that? I wonder if there's variations of that depending on the link strike you use I don't know but I do know that I want to get a bazooka launcher so let's get down about here 
and get the bazooka to take out the defense node. I was actually about to give up on getting... Uh, what is it? Getting the link strike today. Doing a bit of a late recording for me. How do I get out of here? Oh, there we go. But yeah, I've been trying this for like the past hour or so. Trying to get a link strike to happen. And it wasn't. Oops. Wow, that guy's pretty quick, huh? Well, now I can just use my Lumen Flares. And just uh, take these guys out any way I can. Okay, so, yeah, why don't we just use that here? Not that I'm going to have a boss to kill or anything, but there is one more. Boom. Left. No. No. Uh, there's one more photo to get, and I gotta get through this room in order to do that. So, now we'll just yeah, kill these guys the old-fashioned way. You're a natural. Or the usual Get way. I do wonder if I actually did get a Link Strike in my previous attempts and just didn't know it. Because it looked like the prompt was like somewhere like on the solid parts, not the, the grating there, whatever the, these things are called. And maybe I just missed it. Because I mean, that was a problem I had with a lot of these earlier in the episode. Because I didn't know exactly where they were, even with directions. I mean, it's still, you gotta know where to look. Like, precisely. Okay, so right here is the last photo. And there we are. Let's see what we got here, so... Last one. Yeah, there we go. Well, you can only unlock, you know, the archive highlights by beating the episode. So, yeah, why not spoil the final boss there? Although I do like the artwork on this one. Looks a bit different than when you actually fight it, but, well, there you are. And you know what? Let me uh, just quick show all of these pictures in the event that I neglected to show one as I was doing them. Kenny Crow, you follow me into every episode, don't you? Well, I don't think they're in uh, episode Gladiolus, to my knowledge. I don't know if they're in any of the other episodes, but... Okay, I think that's pretty much everything that can be done in episode prompto so next we've got ignis's episode to check out i wonder what it was that blinded ignis during chapter nine while we were fighting leviathan anyway find out in episode ignis and let's play final fantasy 15. this is hg bailey signing off have a good day